Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the picnic set from Our Generation and I'm really excited to show you this video. So first there is the bench and the table. They are connected. This also comes with a tablecloth and I think it's really cute and it's a perfect size. As you can see, there is not a lot of foot room, so you can't really fit four dolls under this table. If they were facing the opposite way, though, you'd definitely be able to fit four dolls, I mean two dolls on each bench. But there's not a lot of foot room to where you can only fit two dolls facing the table. This set comes with a lot of stuff, so I'm probably going to be doing a part two or three. So these are the plates and cups. I really like that our generation makes different cups for every set they have. They're all different types. They're about the same color, but they're different sizes, shapes, and I really like that about our generation. So they come with two cups, and it also comes with two bowls, and the bottom is yellow. And it's really cute. I like the shape of it, just like the cups. And it's the same thing where they make different bowls for each set, which is really cool. So here are the plates. They usually make with the same type of plates, but it's kind of hard to make different types. Um, they usually use this color of plates, and I really like this color, so... I'm not mad about that. <laughs> this set comes with two forks, and the forks are really cute. I wish it wasn't as thick for each thing, but they're still super cute, and I like the color. It makes it really realistic. There are also two butter knives. They're the same color of the forks. And they're really cute. I like how they don't make it sharp for little kids that play with these. Here's another knife, and this will be for the cucumbers. Um, just like the butter knives, they're not sharp, which is really cool. And I like the two colors together. I like how they do different colors together on different sets. And how they sometimes match with other things. For example, this matches with that. Here are the salad utensils. So this is a salad fork and this is a salad spoon. And they look just like what a salad thing would look like. And I think it's cool how they use the color of the bowls and the plates. I think that's really unique and cool of them to do. Next are these three things. I'm not really sure what they're for. They might be for kebabs or something, but I know they go with that stove thing. Or a grill, that's what it's called. This also goes with a grill. Um, I forgot what these things are called, but it's to grab food. And they're really slippery, and it's kind of hard to do that without it slipping through your hand. But it's kind of fun to play with. Now I'm going to show you the food that they have. And first I'm going to show you the fries. So I like the container that it holds. It's the same color as the forks and everything like that. And it's really realistic. Um, the paper is really cute. And it's actual paper, which is cool. Um, I'm not very impressed by the fries. I wouldn't guess that they were fries, to be honest. Um, if it was just something random. They look more like mac and cheese in a way. And have you ever seen fries this much, like, all together? It's kind of weird. Um, and this is, this is probably the heaviest thing in the set it's probably even heavier than the picnic table but it's not like super heavy here are the potato chips and i love these potato chips inside there 
is cotton and there were tags originally right here but i cut them off because they were longer than that um i really like these potato chips they're really cute um i like the design and they're kind of slippery and they can slip through your hands very easily here is the ketchup and mustard so of course this is the mustard and this is the ketchup I really like that our generation always makes different types of mustard and ketchup. They always try to find different shapes and stuff to do the mustard and ketchup, which is really cool. I like that this is kind of squishy, but it's like hard. I don't know, but it's cool. So next is this, and I don't know what that is. I really don't know what it is. Maybe it's a sweet potato. I'm not sure. But then I saw that. And now I'm really confused. What is this? If you know what this is, comment down below what it is. But it's really cute. Next, there are two sandwiches that are identical to this. It's a really big sandwich. And it comes with a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you what it comes with. So it comes with two buns. So it has a burn mark on this front side and there are seeds and you can feel them when you like touch it and stuff. And then the other side is, doesn't have the burn mark, but it's kind of like soft and I kind of like the feel of it. And there are still indents to make it look like bread. Here's the bottom patty. It's really pale. Um... I probably wouldn't eat bread that was this pale, but it still has the markings and indents, which is kind of cool. So this, these are the tomatoes. They're really flexible. There are two tomatoes, but they're connected to each other. Here is a lettuce, and there's only one lettuce, and it's really thick for lettuce. I mean, it's thicker than the tomatoes, which is kind of odd but I really like how detailed it is. So this is the patty, and I, I'm not really impressed with this. I like the other side better, but I'm not sure why this doesn't have the burn marks like the front side does. Here are the pickles, and I really like the pickles. They're flexible, and they are together. You can't peel them off of each other, and there are three. Like I said, the sandwich is really big. <laughs> and there are two. Last of the food is the tomato. I really like the tomatoes they make. They're really squishy and fun to play with. It would be a good stress ball. Um, and it's really cute. And this is probably the favorite food. So I'm going to be doing a part to on this video i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching this whole video and listening to me talk for eight minutes bye guys